So if you want to add crop marks to your Illustrator document, it's fairly easy. The only thing you have to remember is that you have to actually have an object the size of the trim. So this is a business card, which is three and a half by two inches. And if I were to just have a blank business card and go up to effect and choose crop marks, it's not going to, or if I hit apply new effect, see how it doesn't really show the clock crop marks because it doesn't know what to put the crop marks on because there's nothing on here. So what we're going to do is I am going to add an object and I'm going to go all the way out to the bleed. And by the way, if you don't have a bleed, you always should have a bleed, especially for something you intend to print. So when you go to new and you create a new document of three and a half by two inches or whatever it may be, you can add a bleed here. And that's the part that they intend to cut off. But if the stack of paper shifts in their cutting machine, the guillotine, um, then it will still have the artwork on those outer edges. So once we have that, that created, that background created, we can go to effect and choose crop marks. And then this is going to show the marks where it shows us where to cut. Um, but as you can see with the bleed here, it is actually showing us to cut, cut it where the bleed ends. And we don't want that. So we're going to undo that and bring it back down to our trim. So even if you have the outwork out to the edges, what you want to do is put your crop marks on an object that um, has the size of the trim. So if we go to effect crop marks, now this is actually going to show us where we crop that bleed off. Now, if we get rid of that object, then those crop marks go away. So it's important if you want wanted to have a white background, then you could have a white background. If you wanted to put no fill on this, let's see, you can't see that. So we can choose no fill. And even if there's no fill in it, so we can't see it at all, it still leaves those crop marks. So what you essentially want to do is when you're done with your artwork, um, create one object that, and usually it's going to be a square or rectangle, um, that is the size of the trim. And the, by trim, I mean the three and a half by two, the, the actual cut size of the document. So put that object totally clear and then select it and do effect crop marks. And you'll be able to get those crop marks that properly will cut on the trim lines.